stats and everything that are shown. Yep. If you dr scroll all the way to the bottom with the slider, oh, there's okay. a table there for at will powers and counter powers and daily powers. Oh, thank you, man. No problem. And just above that, they'll just have like standard actions, and I have it listed there like melee basic, range basic, lance of faith, sacred flame, etc. And in parentheses next to it, what they are, whether they're at will, encounter, or daily powers. Okay, thank you. Okay. Anybody have any other, other questions? I'm sure there'll be questions later. Yep, yeah, no worries. Okay, we'll get started then. Sweet. Uh, you guys are all from the city-state of Valis. It is a merchant oligarchy, so it is run by the merchant guilds. Um, you guys have adventured together before. Um, you all know each other already. And um, Valis, it's a very big city. Uh, you were hired by the merchant lords, though, because a town in the mountains... Uh, named Dulak is uh, it was a mining mining town that stopped sh sending their ore shipments so you were hired to go figure out what's going on with that as well as to correct it if need be and you will be rewarded when you get that taken care of um, you're basically told to contact the our reward is that we get to escape Dulak. with our lives the named after him because he founded it and he currently runs a mining company up there uh, so that is who you were supposed to go to the town to speak with. You guys headed out, left Vallis. Uh, it's about a week's journey, but you eventually got to Duloc. Um, it's not nearly as big as Vallis is because it is just a mining town. But it does have a, kind of like a gothic architecture to it. Dulak, you know, was a lesser merchant lord that basically jumped on the opportunity to be able to build up his fortune um, through this mining operation, and he built up the town accordingly. Um, so yeah, you enter the town, and um, the guards meet you at the entrance, and they seem kind of tense. Well, laddies, uh, <laughs> you seem kind of tense to me. What's going on? <laughs> they, kind of, you know, they kind of look at you suspiciously and they say, um, oh, what's your business here in Duloc? Well, I'm with them. We were sent to see why the ore shipments have stopped. Um, the company ordered the men out of the mines. Something apparently went on um, inside there, and that isn't uh, that isn't the reason why we're so uh, skeptical around here, though, because we've had uh, Lord Dulac was murdered two nights ago. What murder? Who's running things now? His partners, Lord Golfrey and Lady Varen. So what brings you to this town? Did you, I'm sorry, did you say Lady Varen? Yes. Okay, thanks. I'm just taking notes. Well, has the perpetrators been caught yet for the actual murder of Lord Duloc? No, it was... It happened kind of strangely. Strangely as in... Maybe an inside in job, or potentially, or the uh, person that did it, what knew, uh, or the victim knew who did it. Uh, if you're here to investigate that, you'll have to sh speak with Sheriff Harlow. Uh, he's currently at the Duloc residence now, though. Uh, he can give you more information. Just uh, don't <laughs> cause any trouble. Out of character, my Adobe Flash plugin just crashed. I'll just reconnect. Well, we will go see Sheriff Harlow then. Is there any assistance needed? 
Well, you were hired basically to get the ore shipments running again, so and he was the one that was in charge of it. Yeah. And this is kind of like a podunk town, so. I think we should go see the sheriff and find out what's going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm for it. Sounds like a plan to me. You have my bow! <laughs> and my axe. I don't think a elf sounds like that, though, sorry. You have my bow. <laughs> nice. Um, the guard gives you directions to uh, the Dulac residence, and it's not really hard to find because it's the biggest manor house in the town. It's a nice character sheet. You did a good job. As you guys um, head towards it, you do see that the town It's probably about the size of about a thousand people. Um, most of the people you see look like they were mine workers at one point. Um, but they kind of just like loitering, loitering around a lot now. Um, the lesser nobility that are normally the hangers-on, they're kind of avoiding those kinds of people because they do got kind of shady looks on their faces. And you eventually get to the manor house where there is a guard waiting outside. Um, he's like, are you looking for sh the sheriff? David, Foxfire, you can go ahead and do a... Uh a link. You have permission now. Yes. Uh, go in, go inside, go through the door, straight ahead. He's in the dining room where the uh, murder took place. Mm. As you guys go in there, uh, you do find him in what looks like a dining room. Um, it's got a big fireplace at one end of the room, a uh, large table in the center. Uh, there's a mantelpiece, a couple of paintings, windows that open up to the outside. Uh, you do find, see that there's a big blood stain on the floor in the corner, and you see a probably about a 40-ish year old man um, dressed as a uh, town sheriff, kind of like poking around in the room. He sees you walk in, and he stops what he's doing, he looks to you, and he's like, oh, what can I do for you? Kind of looking at you shiftily. Well, we have been sent to f figure out what is going on with the gold shipments, and we were supposed to meet with a Lord Dulock, but unfortunately we found out when we got here that he's been murdered several nights ago. And speaking out of character, is the corpse still there, or no. is it just blood? So is there sort of like a like a bad smell or anything? Does it smell bad? or? Yeah, it definitely smells like that, it, that murder happened a couple <clears> nights ago and it hasn't been cleaned up at all. Okay. So yeah, I basically go 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 back to go back in the character. We're basically uh, we've been hired to do a task, and and we would like to complete our task. So if there is anything that you need uh, from us for any assistance, uh, we're more than willing to help. And also, uh, if uh, Lord Golfrey and Lady Varen, or Varen, I'm sorry. Uh, we would like to have an audience with them as well, if at all possible. And seeing that you're the sheriff, you could probably take care of that for us. Hopefully. Make a diplomacy check, Dave. Okay. Uh, it won't be that difficult. Uh, ten. I think uh I think I was plus two, sorry about that if uh Oh nope, I was zero, so my roll is actually a ten. My apologies. Okay. Um Yeah, he doesn't seem to he wants to buy it. Uh he says that if you do want to look around, he doesn't have a problem with that. He's already combed the place. But if you can find anything uh that he may have missed because he does want to get this taken care of because he does know that basically as long as this murder's going on um, oh, and it's unresolved, and the mines Shit. aren't going to get real. Sorry, I need to put you in for Moobot. So. I'm sorry, wrong one, David. He does <laughs> give you uh, the ability if you want to. If you guys want to search around the room. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. When you said <laughs> when he called the room already, all I can think of is space balls. <laughs> you know what? What? What <laughs> the two black guys? Yeah, man, we ain't found shit. That was the funniest part of that movie, man. Oh, oh, sorry about that. I'll do a search myself. Okay. Um, uh, plus one. 
will be a perception check. So, so anybody that who's, wants to do that, can who's do the it. rogue? Okay. I am. I was getting ready to say I'm gonna go search also. Okay. Okay, those will be perception checks, which you can find in your character sheet what your skill modifier is. We don't have a map here to to see through. At least I don't see it. I'll yeah, I don't have a hard map set up for it. So. Did you get any roll? Yeah, I saw your roll. Okay. Uh, Dave, you, um... Well, poking around in the room with your, uh... Eight, with your 18 check, you find that, um... In the fireplace. Try it now, David. You find a uh, letter in the ashes. That it looks like it was mostly burnt, but there is like the bottom of the letter, and you see a seal on the bottom of it. Would I happen also, to notice a seal, or is it an unfamiliar seal? Uh, make a knowledge local check, or is it knowledge it's local? Streetwise or is it, it's would history. It be? It's, yeah, that's streetwise probably work. Okay. I'll look too. I got a plus five on that. Sixteen. Okay, Dave, you know that it, you don't know exactly whose seal it is, but it does. Um, All right, got it, Dave. Good, good, good. The resemblance of the Scribes Guild. And hmm. Feta, you with your check, you find a uh, picture hidden in. Uh, well, not necessarily hidden, but like turned over on the mantelpiece. It's a picture of. Um, Looks like three noble people, two guys and a girl. Um, well, they're relatively older, like 30s to 40s, except for the, one of the guys is about 50. And they're standing in front of a sign that um, reads Dulac, Golfery, and Varen Mining Company. I'm going to say, okay. fuck it, and I attack Sheriff Harlow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, man, I've been wanting to do that. Sorry about that. That'll make it interesting. Welcome to my world. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I had to do that, man. I'm sorry. All right, and David B., when you're checking out the <clears throat> place, you actually find a hidden compartment. Yeah, in, it's uh, it's locked though. Great. Wow, that's awesome. What do I need to roll to? Or to try to unlock it. You're the rogue, right? Yes, sir. It is a thievery check. Okay, so 1d20 then the thievery plus yep. the thievery. Hey, you have no problem opening up this uh, compartment. And inside you see a silver filigreed lockbox that's probably about six inches by six inches. It's like a six inch cube and there are three keyholes in it. User joined your channel. Well, sorry about it. I'd like to ask the sheriff if he uh, found the key uh, with Lord Duloc's body. I didn't find anything, but his body's at the morgue if you want to go check that out. They may have found something. They were the ones that removed it. The coroner did. Did anybody search the body before it was taken away? Um, just a very cursory glance. Um, we sent it off to the coroner to have him do a proper autopsy on it. It was pretty gruesome. Um, he didn't really seem to have any valuables on him, though. Damn, Big Dirt, you got a bunch of points. Holy shit! Crowfire, we are definitely going to comb animal, the desert. Uh, got Weird. It, <laughs> but there wasn't any signs of a break-in. How well of Lord Duloc and uh, <laughs> Lord Gadfrey and Lady <laughs> Baron been getting along? Yeah, I know, lately? James. That was, that was kind of funny. I, I just wanted to do that. So, well, Baron and Duloc get along very well, if you know what I mean. Um... Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, 
She brought her social, or she brought her money. Yeah, the more business. you're in the channel, James, uh, the more points you're going to have, bud. And Duloc was the one that handled all the social connections. Uh, Point Gal every Galfrey five minutes. Was more of a, uh, even more of a lesser noble, but he has a way with the people, so he was actually able to get a lot of people to come out here to work these mines. So that was their, um, basically their triangle and how they got this business started. Um, they seem to be getting along pretty well until for some unknown reason that was that nobody else in the town seems to know they ordered that the uh, mining operations would halt about a week and a half ago and that, that's definitely why we're here so I personally don't know anything about that you'd probably have to talk to either Galfrey or Varen yourselves about that you guys have the authority from the merchant lord so uh they should be willing to talk to you. At least give you some kind of heads up what's going on. All right. I'm sorry to, to butt in. Do I know anything about the Scribes Guild from the actual letter with the seal? It's um, mostly it's kind of like a union in today's times. Um, they pay dues to be able to get a guaranteed job in the area. Uh, they're generally used for people that can't really read or write or... Um, Congrats, so mate. God, that's two uh, times you won, I think. Or even for rich people to have something look professionally written and written properly to send out to people. All right. Uh, they do pretty well, especially considering that this entire city state is all based on uh, mercantilism. So, But there is generally one, there's a shop for them in every town. <clears throat> It's to uh, bid on giveaways and uh, also to buy your way into games and stuff as well. well James. Like we should go talk to somebody, don't you think? Who should we talk? Yeah. I think we should talk with the Lord Godfrey and uh, Lady uh, Baron. Uh, they are, Sheriff, they are the ones that are in this photograph here on the mantel, aren't they? He looks Maybe at the picture right. and says, yeah, that's uh, Golfrey and Baron there, standing next to Dulac. Dulac is like the 50-year-old guy that's in the picture. So are we going to find that Lady Baron or Golfrey first? <laughs> Get in there, Micro. Oh, my bolt's on the lady. Micro, your points are in a micro type of... Since she, amount. <laughs> since she had a much better. You'll get uh, there, man. Just hang out in the channel. You'll get them every five minutes. You accumulate points, person. so get a better perspective. I think, would you? Okay, so it sounds like you guys are gonna go see Baron. Uh, the sheriff gives you directions on where her house is. <clears throat> it's actually not that far away, so. You um, head to her place, and you knock on the door, and a servant answers. He sees the group of you, and he's like, yes, what can I do for you? Uh, we're here to see the lady, if at all possible. We were sent by Sheriff Harlow. Ah, uh, okay. Um, come in. Um, have a seat. I'll <coughs> let her know that... And he kind of like pauses to find out who you guys are so he can introduce you to her. <clears throat> He's like, sorry, I didn't catch, um, you said Sheriff Harlow sent you, but I haven't seen you in town before. Uh, well, we've been sent to f inquire uh, about the gold production and why the, well, the actual mining production was... I guess seized and uh, we've been employed to find out the reasons for that and we were supposed to talk to Lord Duloc but unfortunately uh, he's not no longer available uh, so that's why we had uh, we've actually spoken to Sheriff Harlow already and he directed us this way to uh, Lady Varen the guy yes Duloc that was most unfortunate <clears throat> he doesn't really seem like he cares what happened to him um, He's like, but come sit in the, sit in the study, I'll uh, go let Lady Baron know that she has guests. <laughs> Thank you. Little bow. Yeah. 
he uh, leads you guys into thank uh, you this rather posh um, study. Uh, plenty of chairs. It's fucking and chairs, is uncomfortable as shit. Um, he says that uh, he'll bring refreshments for you as well. Ooh. Make mine hell. Of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, he leaves the room. A couple minutes later, some other servants come in. They sit down, so, uh, sit down a tray of like snacks and wine, water, and some ale. Ooh. I take a smell of the wine. Is it elvish wine or is it is it petty no, human it, wine? It, it's petty human wine, but it actually <clears throat> smells like it's better than some of the stuff that uh, you would normally be drinking in an el in a human town. Well, I'll definitely try some then. Well, out of game as a paladin, should I drink the wine or not? You can if you want. It's not um, it's not against your religion to drink. You're tipping one back for your deity, man. Go for it. This one's for my homies. Cheers, <laughs> 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 man. Cheers, mate. <laughs> All right, so you guys drink. You uh, get some snacks down your throats. Um, Whoa! That's what she about said. Ten minutes <laughs> uh, about ten minutes later, um, <laughs> this probably about 35 to 40-year-old woman... Uh, enters the room uh, finely uh, dressed she's obviously a noble she carries herself with that uh, demeanor as someone that's used to getting respect is she gorgeous she or is she a she, she's she's pretty good looking right. for an older person greetings my lady well met she knows you she's like um, I see that my servants have adequately um, I guess taking care, uh, help to get refreshed from your journeys I have come to understand that you just recently came to our town I'm pouring another <coughs> you'll have to excuse our dwarven friend here he, he usually uh, doesn't groom his beard well so there's probably four or five snacks in his beard uh, but yes w sorry about that <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm well aware of the eccentricities of dwarves. They make good miners. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The best. She kind of smiles and nods to you. <laughs> and then she says under breath, <coughs> free labor. <coughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. She, um, she says, um, I wish that we could have met under better circumstances. What is it that I can do for you? Uh. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. Come on. Speak up. Well, we're investigating uh, what is said here, a murder. And there's been a little evidence. I'm not saying what, but there's a little evidence that we found, and we want to ask some questions. And I was wondering if you might want to answer a few. God, he's got such of a course, great. I have nothing to hide. He's got such a great dwarf voice. I love it. So um, she sits down as well and pours herself a glass of wine. Bo, have a seat by so me, little the, lady. Uh, there's a problem with the gold shipment, I guess. So we're here to talk about that condition with Lord Dulak, <laughs> but now he's dead. So we came to you to ask what happened to Lord Dulak and gold shipment. Dwayne Wade, three MVP, two thousand fifteen. Uh, um, Thanks for the follow. Kind of and she's like, I knew this would come eventually. Dwayne Wade, you're missing uh, too many games, though, bud. She's like, I was the one that it. Uh, LeBron's making closed while we Dwayne Wade look bad. What were you investigating? He's making everybody in the league look bad, except for Kevin Durant. Well, actually. While we were digging through, digging down one of our newer tunnels, we end up stumbling across. Welcome um, to the community, though, Dwayne Wade. Like some kind of a shrine. Appreciate the follow, man. What? Hang out, accumulate some experience points. Um, Good times. Uh, we didn't really. Uh, we personally didn't uh, explore it too much. But we got a sense of dread inside there. So we closed down the mine, and uh, I wanted to immediately send someone to Valis to uh, 
send out some professionals out here to be able to explore it for us, tell us what we were working with. But Galfrey and uh, Dulak were fighting with me to determine exactly who we needed to contact. Um, they wanted to do some kind of profiteering off of this, and I just wanted to get it taken care of so we could get back to business. <clears throat> now, I've got some streetwise, a plus five. I'm going to see if she's lying. That would be an insight check. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to do an insight check as well. Okay, make an insight check. Now, this is plus five. Yeah, I just am drooling, thinking that she's pretty for her age. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> like, man, this wine really is good. It's going right to your head. <sighs> Unbelievable roll. Man, well, he rolls a nat 20 on his. <clears throat> she, um, she seems like she's being honest with what she's telling you. Do you think there's any... A little guarded, but not being dishonest. Do you think there would be anyone that would want to off him? He's like, Dulak, he could rub some people the wrong way, but he didn't really have that many enemies that would go this far. Um, well, he has a gold mine, yeah, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would mean that both me and Golfrey are in danger as well, which is why we're staying here, staying in our homes, trying to figure out, waiting in for the sheriff to figure out what's going on. Um, though it seems like you guys have been doing more investigating than he has in these past two days. Oh, so we just I'd literally got into town, my lady. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, you jumped right into it, feet first, willing to try to figure this out just off of your duty, I guess. She kind of smiles because she knows you're getting paid for it. Um, to get the mining operation back to going. Which I can guarantee that once this is taken care of, I'll start it right back up. So what, what are you in need of us to do? If you can um, figure out what's what killed uh, Dare or what killed Lord what killed Morgan I mean, Lord Dulak, then, um, she actually said that, then, um, Morgan. we get the, Morgan is Dulak's first name. Okay, Morgan Dulak, alright. Um, then, um, I just need to get this taken care of. Well, whenever we were over at uh, Lord Dulak's uh, home, we found a small lockbox that has three keyholes in it. You wouldn't perhaps chance happen to have a key for that box. Excryptix CX. Thank she you very much for the follow. Excryptix. A few seconds, but it's noticeable. Welcome and to the community like, and start gathering your points, Excryptix. Rogue, did you pick up the box and bring it with us? He's thinking hard about this. Uh, yes, we did. Here in a couple minutes, I'm going to do a couple giveaways for some it? points. So, uh, you guys are going to need to be in the, the channel because I'm going to do I'm a keyword. I just need to see if it's the box that I think it is. Uh, I'll show it to her. Okay, she looks <coughs> at it and her face gets kind of pale. And she's like, That, um, if you guys have that, I that was basically what I was thinking that he may have been murdered for, but if you have it, then that may not be the case. That box we uh, found in the shrine. Bum, bum, bum! Well, we did find this box in a, another locked box, so the person that killed him may not have been able to find it. So smart of Morgan then to do that. This just comes back to trying to figure out what was up with that shrine as well. It just justifies me on saying that I was right in closing down the mine. Um, anyways, um, that box is important. I'm not going to take it from you, um, but I would hold on to it. 
and you guys seem like you're capable of defending it if need be. Hello, so I, I Crawford. I hands over Harlow's because I don't necessarily.